right on their school property. Local 12's Chelsea Sick is live, giving us an inside look at how the mobile education unit works and what's inside. Chelsea, take us around. Well, we've had so much fun really exploring the Boone County Arboretum's mobile education unit. And what is so cool is they travel all over the tri-state to give students really a virtual field trip. And what we're seeing now, these are just some of the things that students can look at when they come out to different schools. They actually made a pit stop here at our station. I'm here with Josh and Tanya at the Boone County Arboretum. Fill us in really on what you all do. You all travel all around to give students a field trip, right? Yes. Uh, back before the pandemic, we found out that the schools really needed to have the mobile education lab at their schools. Uh, busing was an issue, so we filled that need with this mobile education lab. All right, Tanya, tell us a little bit about what we have here. So here we have all of our specimens. We've got tree specimens, some animal skins, um, skulls, things that the children are able to touch and interact with so that they can um, hopefully adapt the schema that they need in order to learn. Mm -hmm. And tell me what you were telling me earlier about some of their favorite parts when they come through here. Yes, yeah, so they love the skulls. I mean, being able to see a doe versus a buck skull and being able to touch the coyote, the children absolutely love it. What does it mean to you to, to be able to travel around and give students this experience? You know, we love to be able to just go and supplement the curriculum that some of these schools would, are currently having, whether they're doing photosynthesis, cell division, ecosystems, anything like that, then we're able to come in and just add an extra layer of it so that the students are able to learn in an outside classroom in an environment that is completely different than what they're used to. And one thing that I love about what you all do is it's not just for public school students. Tell me everyone who can participate in this. Yeah, absolutely. So we work a lot with the public schools in our area in northern Kentucky. Um, we do homeschool co-ops a lot. We love that. The scout troops, if anybody's working on their tree badge, we are really great at that. <laughs> we love to plant trees. But we also partner with some community partners like Taking Roots, who through funding are able to go, they're opening the door to 19 Cincinnati public schools for us currently so that we're able to get in there and the students are planting trees on the school property, 100% funded. These children are getting their hands dirty, they're digging through the dirt. There's nothing more dramatic than a second grader <laughs> pulling a worm out of the soil. And they get to touch the roots, plant the tree, and watch it grow for the next few years and hopefully come back in the future and be able to say that they accomplished that. They put that tree in the ground. They help the the environment. All right, Tanya and Josh, thank you so much for being here, coming out here and showing us this. If you're interested in bringing this to your group or to your school, all you have to do is call the Boone County Arboretum, and we will have more information on local12.com here in just a bit. Back to you on the studio. Just imagine, and thank you, Chelsea, the reaction when they roll up to a school yeah. with that thing. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> you not going to forget that if you're a kid. Being able to, you know, see everything and have it brought to them and yeah. hands-on is always so important for I learning. I never would have thought cool. of that. That's a neat yeah, idea. I like it, too. Yeah, I think, I think Kristen did something like a bus, like a school bus, maybe last summer. Mm. The kids to get to go on and... I remember the book, book bus. That was the bus. The book bus. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's also, similar to that, I think. Yeah. Very cool. Bringing yeah. it to the kids that the yes. kids mm -hmm. can't get to there. To the children. That's right. All right, <laughs> All right. Uh, time now is 927. Hollywood is going dark.